Frumenti, sometimes fermenti, 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 or fermenti, was a popular dish in Western European medieval cuisine. It is a pottage, a thick boiled grain dish, hence its name, which derives from the Latin word fermentum, grain. It was usually made with cracked wheat boiled with either milk or broth. As such, it was a peasant staple. More luxurious recipes include eggs, almonds, currants, sugar, saffron, and orange flower water. Frumenti was served with meat as a pottage, traditionally with venison or occasionally porpoise considered a fish, and therefore appropriate for Lent. It was also frequently used as a subtlety, a dish between courses at a banquet. In England History Florence White, founder of the English Folk Cookery Association, wrote in Good Things in England 1932 that frumenti is England's oldest national dish. For several centuries, frumenti was part of the traditional Celtic Christmas meal. According to an 1822 Times telescope, in Yorkshire, on Christmas Eve, Supper is served, of which one dish, from the lordly mansion to the humblest shed, is, invariably, fermati, yule cake, one of which is always made for each individual in the family, and other more substantial viands are also added. Poor Robin, in his almanac for the year 1676, speaking of the winter quarter, says, and lastly, who would but praise it, because of Christmas, when good cheer doth so abound, as if all the world were made of minced pies, plum pudding, and fermati. It was often eaten on Mothering Sunday, the fourth Sunday of Lent, i.e. late spring. On that day many servants were allowed to visit their mothers and were often served frumenti to celebrate and give them a wholesome meal to prepare them for their return journey. The use of eggs would have been a brief respite from the Lenten fast. In Lincolnshire, frumenti was associated with sheep shearing in June. A diarist recalled of his youth in the 1820s that Almost every farmer in the village made a large quantity of frumenti on the morning they began to clip, and every child in the village was invited to partake of it." A second batch, of better quality, was produced later and taken round in buckets to every house in the village. Food historian Polly Russell describes one of the first English recipes for it in the 1390 manuscript The Form of Curry, and how this served as the inspiration for the 2013 Christmas menu at dinner by Heston Blumenthal, transforming Victorian workhouse food for paupers into modern luxurious dining. <laughs> <laughs> Literary references Fermenti is served with venison at a banquet in the mid-14th century North Midlands poem winner and waystore, "'Venison with the fermenti, and faisant's full riche, bacon meat there be one the bird set", i.e. in modern English, "'Venison with the frumenti and pheasant's full rich, baked meat by it on the table set". The dish also appears, likewise paired with venison, at the New Year feast in the Middle English poem known as the alliterative Morte Arthur c. Flesh flourished of fermisin, with fermenti noble. The dish, described as fermati and served with fruit and a slug of rum added under the counter, plays a role in the plot of Thomas Hardy's novel The Mayor of Casterbridge. It is also mentioned in Lewis Carroll's Through the Looking Glass as a food that snapdragon flies live on. Recipes <inaudible> 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 Steve Roud, librarian and folklorist, compiled a compendium of the English year including three recipes for frumenti. They show considerable variation with place and time. 1. The typical method of preparation was to parboil whole grains of wheat in water, then strain off and boil in milk, sweeten the boiled product with sugar, and flavor with cinnamon and other spices. 2. Take clean wheat and bray it, beat it into small pieces in a mortar well that the hulls go all off this means that the hulls are broken off and see boil it till it burst, and take it up drain it by taking it out of the water and let it cool, and take fair fresh broth and sweet milk of almonds, or sweet milk of kine cow's milk and temper it all, and take yolks of eggs. Boil it a little and set it down and mess it forth. Mess. Here in the sense of. Plate and serve to table. The same root as navel mess with fat venison and fresh mutton. 
3. Somerset Wiltshire, about 40 years ago from an unspecified date country women in shawls and sun bonnets used to come to the market at Weston Super Mare in little carts carrying little basins of new wheat boiled to a jelly, which was put into a large pot with milk, eggs, and sultanas, and was lightly cooked. The resulting mixture was poured into pie dishes and served on mid-Lent Sunday and during the ensuing week. Frumenti is still prepared at devices for mothering Sunday A healthy dose of spirit is often mentioned as accompanying the frumenti. Elsewhere A dish made with boiled cracked wheat and soured milk was made in antiquity in Persia, and is still used, often as the basis for a soup, in Greece and Cyprus as trehanas, and in Turkey tarhana. Kusha is an Eastern European dish of a similar recipe. See also Wheatberry, whole wheat, eaten as a food List of porridges <laughs>